Oh, that's uh, something I'm working on. Hey, you look like you've done some farm work in your time. Are you free to help me out? I just need you to eat some of this meat I've cooked up. Oh, it's not from a person or anything like that. I just need you to give it a taste and tell me what you think. No reason. I thought you might have heard about that accident. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, scarf that down and tell me what you think. Okay. Just okay. I was hoping for a better reaction. That, my friend, was a new type of meat I've discovered. I call it bacon. No. I named it after myself, Eli Bacon. Bacon, like my last name. That's what all the Greek people do. What would you say if I told you it was from a pig? Well, it's a long story. But let me ask you something first. What would you say pigs are good for? And what else? Exactly. Aside from pig wrestling, they're useless. They're just big, smelly animals that eat loads of food. Oh, even pig wrestling is in decline thanks to all these new sports like castle wars and dueling. Thanks to all these popular pastimes, there's no demand for pigs. I think only me and Martin keep them these days. And he only keeps them because of the tourist money generated by his freakishly large pig, Pigzilla. Basically, if people find out that pigs taste delicious when cooked, how long do you think it'll take to eat them all? I just look at what happened to those useless no-horned unicorns that were all over the place a few years ago. When people worked out they tasted good, they were wiped right out. What we'll do is get people wanting pigs for something other than meat. After all, people keep cows around for milk and sheep for wool. Well, if we can convince them pigs are good for something, then they'll start breeding them again. Once the numbers are back up, we can reveal the tasty truth to everyone. By that point, there'll be enough pigs that people can eat as many as they want. I have a plan. What we're going to do is What sound? Those are some of the locals. They know about bacon. I gave a few of them a taste and now they're addicted. They're crazy. Don't worry. So long as you lock that gate behind you, we should be all right.
Now cover it in me. I can't rescue this pig. Good work. While they're eating that bacon, we can get this show on the road. You remember I said I had a plan to drive up demand for pigs? Well, this is it. What we do is, we raise an amazing pig. I mean, a real monster. One that people will come from miles around to see. Then, we train it to do some sort of trick. We show it off to all kinds of folks, and they go nuts for pigs. And before you know it, demand for pigs will soar. And then, bam! We bring out bacon and make a fortune. Well, it is called bacon. I'm sure that legally they'll have to pay me money when they start making it. Oh, he sent off a form and promised to hand over lots of money to secure the rights to call pig meat bacon. Uh, it can't... I know! All we need to do is work out what a pig is good for. Any ideas? Oh. And there was me thinking you'd be the smart one. You have a think and let me know when you've got something. Well, hello again. You got any idea what we can teach our show pig to do? How will that get people interested? That's a good idea you had there. I guess you're smarter than you look after all. Now we need our show pig. Go have a word with Martin in Draenor and see if he'll let us have a piglet from his big old pigzilla. You can always find him by his pigsty in the marketplace. Just head southeast from here and you'll find him in no time. I am Eli Bacon, the proud inventor of bacon. I work on this here farm as a pig farmer. I don't think so. Nobody gets rich in cooked meat confused with the food he came up with. Same with Gerald Beer and Simon Bread. Well, that's where you're wrong. I sent off with some fancy papers about registering your food with the cook skill. Chef Morrisane explained it all in his handy little pamphlet, and it only cost me 30% of all future earnings. Well, a few days ago, I was getting Gassy Steve, one of my prized wrestling pigs, ready for his next competition. I'd attached him by his trotters to an old spit roast, it keeps them still while I cover them with ceremonial garlic and herb grease, you see. Then, disaster struck. 
I placed dry twigs and rags under the spit to catch the falling grease as usual. Before I knew what was happening, sparks from a nearby torch ignited them, and poor Gassy went up in flames. Within minutes, a crowd of people had gathered by the farm. The smell of poor Steve cooking was, ironically, attracting people from far and wide. People started begging me not to bury him, and wanted to try the cooked flesh to see if it tasted as good as it smelled. Stricken with grief as I was, I gave it a try myself, and found it to be sweet and delicious. And that is how I learned the secret of bacon. Now we need our show pig. Go have a word with Martin in Draenor, and see if he'll let us have a piglet from his big old pigzilla. You can always find him by his pigsty in the marketplace. Right, see you later. in our own business, know what I mean? Alright, 
You got me. Now, we're going to do it. It's good to finally meet you. Did you enjoy robbing me, you swine? I did indeed, and I'll do it again once this farce is over. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face in a moment. Let him have it. Is that it? Yeah. I mean, I barely felt that. Well, no, but I expected more than one little punch. You know, there are lots of ways you can hit someone without killing them. So, so is that really it? Can I go now? Oh, look. A piglet and a kitten. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Isn't the pig chubby and cute? And the kitten fluffy and adorable? Ah, my organs! Ah! They are the best of friends and have adorable adventures every day. Taste my own agony! <laughs> they dress up in little costumes and run around with all their woodland chums. <laughs> By the gods, he's had enough! What high jinks and capers they get up to! <laughs> OK, OK, I think he's learned his lesson. Leave him be. Learned lesson. Go in hospital. Now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just scared off every pickpocket in the district. Well done. You've more than earned this little piglet. should probably wait for Eli to give you the pig before you do that.
Sounds like a fair enough trade. Let's take a look at that piglet then. What we need to do now is work on making a machine to train the pig. What was it you thought they could do again? Help out in a fight? Yeah, that sounds about right. I have some plans drawn up, but I think you'd be better off putting it all together. Three planks should cover it. All it'll take is a couple of planks. I'd help out myself, but I broke my hammer on a hiker last week. I, I, no, I meant I broke my hammer mending a fence ruined by hikers. Yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, not wanting to change the topic or anything, after you've built it, you'll need to upgrade it to train the pig. That should only take a couple of iron bars and three more planks. Oh, and best use some nails to hold it all together. In fact, I have those here for you now. You might as well use mine as they're yours. Here, since you can take it all now, you might as well have the stuff to upgrade it as well. That'll save you time when you're done building it. What we need to do now? What was it you thought they could do again? I have some plans drawn up. All it'll take is a couple of plans. Let's, let's just say that some hikers are very tough, and so they... break fences? Anyway, not wanting to... Can I help you with something? What we need to do? What was it you thought they could do? I have some plans drawn up. All it'll take is a couple of planks. I'd help out. Ah, fair enough. Anyway, not wanting to change the topic or anything, after you've built... Would you? There's a field over by Draenor that you can take it from. It's not too far away. Right, see you later. I don't think we can keep this news under wraps for much longer. Those bacon addicts... Wait, that's it? Of course! Ha <laughs> 
Oh, don't mind me. I just thought of something funny about... pigs. I have had an idea, though. What this little squealer needs is some good, healthy exercise. Ah, keeping him cooped up down here won't do him any good. We'll need to get him up and about in the sunshine. If we can clear the yard of addicts, then we can take him for a good old trot about in the fresh air. Here, I use this sleeping potion sometimes when I need to get... pigs to sleep. Just let me peel that old skull and crossbones label off. <laughs> there, that should do it. Now you just go up there, attach some bacon to one of those pig statues you made, and then pour some potion onto it. When they tuck into it, they'll fall asleep. Then I can... Um... What? <laughs> I'd never do that. <laughs> Just head up into the field through the trapdoor to begin. I'll leave the bacon and sleeping potion up there for you. Hey, how are you feeling, by the way? Oh, no reason. Tell you what, in case the potion doesn't work, why don't you go get me some onions? Well, you know how garlic repels vampires? I'm convinced that onions will repel these bacon addicts. Look, I invented bacon, so I should know how it works. Bacon and onions are two strong flavours, and they just don't go together. To those hardened bacon addicts, well, they shouldn't even be able to go near them. Specifically, fresh onions. So, if you can go and get me a fresh onion you picked yourself, then we can use it to clear the yard if the poison doesn't work. That's right so far. Look, I'm the bacon expert here. I can't just expect any lay person to understand how this stuff works. Oh, don't worry. I've got it under control. <laughs> Can I help you with something?
No, it doesn't. It sounds perfectly reasonable. Perfectly reasonable. That should keep us safe if more addicts appear. I suppose the next thing to do is turn on the machine and see how well it works. Well, you built the thing. I doubt the pig will be much use just from this, but it'll look just grand. And that's all we need. If the pig looks good and you can pretend that the trick works, we're set. This might need a little work. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Come here, you. Does, although I think I should give it a tweak while you're away. Maybe I can dig up some of the clothes, packs and armour buried in the field to equip the pigs a little better. People keep on dropping things in there, like old clothes, hats, money, personal possessions and unwanted limbs. I bury them in the field to keep the place from getting untidy. Look, it's a farming thing. You wouldn't understand. It is a very specific pig farming thing. For only this farm. And if your name is Eloy. Anyway, take that pig round the big cities to show it off. Lumbridge Castle Courtyard, Barrop Marketplace, or Dugny Marketplace, and near the North Falador Gate would be the best places to give it a try. If nothing else, they're next to those lodestone things, so you can teleport there with the pig easily. Don't be frightened to let the pig walk with you. Just put him down on the ground when you want to show him off, and pick him up when you're done. Here, this should help your memory. Now, go and show the world what a pig can do. And if you don't like the name Martin gave your pig, you can go and change it with him now, he's all yours. Hey there, stranger. Why do you have a pig following you around? Is it pig wrestling day already? I need to get my wrestling hat. Its foresawing power is too great. What hubris has unleashed such a monster? If we all flee now, we might live. What a relief. I thought we were all done for. But uh, just out of interest, where can we get trained pigs like this? Yes, we've had to cancel the last three wrestling days because we couldn't find one. We had to use a goblin in the end. 
It just wasn't the same. That's a great idea. Three cheers for this passing stranger and his performing thing. for this passing stranger and this performing pig. In a year or so, we can start letting people in on the secret of bacon. In the meantime, you can come and see me whenever you want more. This calls for a fryer. Can I help you with something? Very well. I have some things for you if you want them. Here we go! When I take you down, I'm a bacon gown, I'm a notorious P.I.G. I'm a stout in stallion with a pork medallion and an onion ring on three. Every day I want to say, right, I'll see you later. Every day, there's joy inside a bacon shovel. And 